Love getting in without you. Always nice. Uh, let us use the nineteen oh six. Hey, bubbles, how are you doing today? You're doing good, that's good to hear. I got lucky, man, he spawned right there. This horse push me. Hey Cameron. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Dude, these horses. Uh get hit please. Sniper, yeah, that's the big issue with using this gun. You run out of ammo a lot. I mean, you got quite a long reload. Where are these stream? This is my normal timers, Arno. You're just normally late. What are these enemies doing? I should revive this guy. Shit. Never mind. Hey, it's maneuver. Love being immediately fully suppressed. Easily the best part of this game. Alright, uh, heal first before reloading when you're on low health. Hey, Messler. Okay. Two tap me with a Che Rigotti. Fair enough. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch team. I don't want it to be uh, too unbalanced. Can fix your wounds. Oh, God! Oh, God, that's a sentry. Jesus, that's way too many enemies, man. There's a guy here, where is he? There he is. Shit. 
This is why this is the worst SLR, I think. Like, at least we are loading eight kills a bit faster. Like, I love how it looks, I love how it sounds, but it's just kind of... It's kind of bad for killing any more than one enemy at a time. And it's not even especially great at doing that. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Self's ladder is not underrated. I still think it's underrated. Like it gets too much hate. It's not like it's not like the twelve G or something. It's definitely not a bad gun. And it's very, very fun. Also, you do need good aim, which I don't have right now. Take a medical pouch. Peak. Enemy medic there. Hmm. I should. I should just go up on the balcony. Watch it, boys. <laughs> you got damage. I'll fix you up. This guy's ignoring me. I got the worst teammates. Thank you, teammate. There we go. I've retracted my insult. How are you doing today, Cots? First aid, take it. Too many of them, man. Too many. I feel like this isn't the ideal gun to use before I've gotten warmed up. Come on. Stuck. Where is this guy? Inside the house, I guess? There he is. It's not balcony gaming. I'm trying to do balcony gaming, man. The game's not letting me. Picked this gun for, like, anticipated balcony camping and everything. Fully suppressed as soon as I peek. Medical pass for you. Enemy medic right over there. 175 damage. I can patch your wounds.
Best aim ever. Be spotted. Better be careful. I need ammo. He just instantly died when he went out there. Hoping I can get up here. I can, nice. Okay, chat, you ready for some balcony gaming? Kill that guy if I was more accurate. Opera GX is a bit on ad blocker. I may need to look into that. I know that like Chrome are going to be killing, killing ad blockers soon. So I'll need to, uh, I'll need to go to a new browser. A double. I was kind of thinking uh, Firefox, just like as a default. Watch it. it's a but I can look into Opera as well. What? What? Where did he come from? Was that guy there the entire time? Did he like bail out of a plane? What? Dude, I'm so confused. He, he must have he must have been on the roof and come down or like bailed out of a plane I do love the reload animation on this thing, okay. It's Chromium based. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um, as I understand, the ad blockers will continue working. 
but I'm not 100% sure on that. Enemy medic, right there. We're losing C and B. I just dodging all my shots without even meaning to. I will kill these guys eventually. Movement spotted. Enemy medic. Enemy scout sighted. What do I think of people who use the G98? I don't have any issues with a G98. I, I think it's kind of weak for the way, for the way that I play the game. Kind of a gun that's good for camping, like long-range headshots. I can see an enemy medic. Come on, teammates! Fucking shoot the guy. I have the worst teammates. Okay, 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 what? I didn't think they'd be there. I died, I think. I was around the corner. Never lucky, man. Those wounds, I can fix them. Okay, cleared out A. Uh, we should be okay on B. Oh, I didn't see those guys. I didn't realize they were on the balcony. That's unfortunate. Can't stay alive right now. I'm missing way too many shots, I think.
I really need to get warmed up right now. Alright, not going up that ladder. Another double. <laughs> How many of them are up there? Hey, Cristiano. How are you doing today? Okay, we should be dead. Uh, do I just head back to B? Want me to patch you up? No, we got B. We're good. Should have killed that guy. There we go. Hurt. I'll patch you up. Unlucky. Unlucky man outplayed by the blimp. Would the gun be unbalanced if it made it a two shot? Yes, absolutely. It will be the most unbalanced gun in the entire game. The RSC is a two shot at uh, 180 RPM and people already complain about that being unbalanced. If this were a two shot at 300 RPM, Take the medical patch. it would be beyond broken. Uh, uh, take the medical patch. Like even just in close quarters, it would be broken. Like, two shots at 300 RPM is like the same time to kill as the machine pistol. Airship over there! Like, it would be actually insane. There's a shot trooper! Come on, See? who am I gonna shoot here? There we go. Alright, I need to go turn the heater on, it's cold here. Hello, back. You're back from jerking off. I didn't think I was playing that well, was I?
All right, I need to, uh, I'm going to use an LMG here. Just hold down the mouse button one. Get a bit warmed up that way. Let's use the, let's use some Madsen. Oh, this guy's about to get kicked. How long, how long will the bot take to kick this guy, you think? Actually, is there any admins online? No, I don't think so. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's been kicked. There we go. I'm I'm helping. Being shot, and I don't know where from. Someone fix my wounds. Right here. Oh, that's a, not a tank, that's a guy on the field gun. Oh, run away. No. Unlucky. I wanted to go to B at the start of a round, but uh, I had to... I had to kill that rocket truck. Just in case anyone else jumped in it. I've literally... I've seen the bot, like, almost kill the server before when, like, someone, uh... Someone spawned that thing and got to one of the flags on Suez. Before getting kicked. Where like everyone just started jumping in and getting kicked immediately. It's like one after another. Cutting my smiles. There, there's, there's one smile for you. Oh shit! Every time, dude. Every time. Could never get Olympus through that window. One hit. Unlucky. Keep missing you keep missing your shots with the RC. Just just try hitting the enemy. That's that's what I do. It generally it, it generally sometimes works. What? Oh he was invisible. Bro, he was invisible. Like I think I'd die there anyway, but like Oh, he's, I'm blind? Are you sure? I think I, I think I would have seen him. Enemy machine gun. Then again, I could be blind. Oh no. I'm completely trapped here. I can't even move. Simply outplayed. M1907 is growing on you. It's really good. Like one of my one of my favorite SLRs for sure. Uh, I don't even want to spawn spawn down there. I'll just get I'll just get shot again.
You see him, the sub trooper. I have eyes on the sub trooper. Alright, I knew he was basically trapped by my fire. Take the ammo! That was like the only place that he could possibly be. Dude, I, I never feel like Nexus. I miss way too many shots. My aim's nowhere near good enough to be Nexus. Even even pretend Nexus. I can see an enemy scout. Oh, that's a big problem. That's a big problem. For you. I just want to heal before I peek for window. Okay, never mind. Wash that shirt sometimes? This isn't a shirt. This is like a little, uh, how you say, like a little, a warm layer. Like I have a shirt on underneath it, see? It's like a little, uh, like a little jersey thing. Buttons. And I wear it because it's cold. How you doing, Rixie? Yeah, buttons, see? These things. I'm dead, I'm dead. You miss Casey? Uh, she'll be back in a couple days, right? You mentioned. There! Ammunition! Oh, I missed every shot. I missed every single shot. So you're only going to watch my stream for another couple days. And then you'll... And then you'll never be seen again. Ay ay ay. Too many nades, man. Too many nades. Hey, repairman. It's going well, thanks. How about you? Uh, they were watching that. Ammo, right there. <laughs> Two guys. Now, Rixie's not a zoomer, he's older than me. Rixie's, Rixie's a boomer for sure. It's a zoomer, it's a young person. It's what the kids call a young person. Enemy machine gun, sight it. That ammo's got your name on it. I saw that last uh, second. Zoomer's phantom term for Gen Z. I use Zoomer as well. It's what other cool kids say. I guess me and Phantom are the only cool ones here.
Oh, a triple with the limpets. <laughs> nice. Oh, baby, a triple. Eyes open. Just open up that wall. There's ammo. Enemy tank over there. Never tank. Both their tanks are right here. I'm dead. I'm dead. Are there any boomers in here? You're watching one. I am literally older than Nort. By like... By like less than a month, but even still. Somehow alive. Somehow alive. I have no clue how. This is our objective. No one's taking it. Grab that ammunition. I heard your steps. Ammo, pick it up. No man, North North's thirty one today. It's his it's his birthday. That ammo's got your name on it. Unless, unless he's been lying to me about his age, I guess. You're 43. I mean, if, if 30 and 40 are basically the same thing, right? I don't want to jump down there. I'll be killed by a tank. a lot of damage should get a res low at least yeah there we go I guess I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way. What way can I go? Legitimate question. Game 
go upstairs. There we go. Ammo, pick it up. He's dead. Some ammo. Take it. Dude, visibility is so bad here. It's so bad. I'm literally shooting it just for red icons. Dude, they were behind me. How did they get behind me, actually? I had teammates right there, and we capped the flag, and they still managed to run through somehow. A good teammate and kill the mines. Spot to the sky. Ammunition. Boomers teach you the way of a water? What does that mean? Okay, we're getting some kills now at least. Better than no kills. There's a guy. Ammunition for you! Mm, unlucky. Surprised the outhit fire being there, to be honest. The MG15. Through the window. <laughs> Chat, what are you guys talking about? It's something that I've got to see, like, the new Avatar, to understand. Because I watched the original, and I refuse to watch the new one. Because I don't want to be that bored again. Guess I'm just going back to, like, C and D. No, no Avatar memes, chat. This is an Avatar meme free zone. Okay, 
big. Oh, a couple guys here. Unlucky, man. You're not the only one who didn't enjoy the first Avatar movie? I thought most people didn't enjoy the first Avatar movie. Like, it kind of came out, made like a billion dollars or something, and then, like, no one ever spoke about it anymore. There's a shock trooper! Watch yourself! Dead. Alright, I cannot I cannot peek that corner. Yeah, I'm trapped here. Over was the guy here. Losses someone. Someone. Come on, Need a medic. Shotgun. I I knew that. I knew I was dead there. Hey Mike, how's it going? The moment I saw that guy had a shotgun, I knew I was dead. Uh what? That was a very sus revive. He's still populated, yeah. It's still going strong. I'll be right back. The new Avatar, a child says fuck? I might have to go see it then. 
That sounds like an improvement. All right, let's use the uh, let's use for Shogun. I haven't used that in a little while. Uh, well, we already died. Uh, die, please. Thank you. Best aim ever. Shit. I thought I hit that guy. Like those trip wires that I just ran past. One of theirs. Like a one nade there and it kills a bunch of people. See an enemy scout. All right, let's do a let's do a nice flank. I didn't know damage to that guy. Those enemies are cleared out. We should be able to cap C now. Oh yeah, that's an enemy scout. A direct mortar shot. Come on, jump. There we go. I'm dead. Dude, die, please. Thank you. Jesus. That's the issue with shotguns right there. If someone's like slightly behind cover, like the cover just inevitably eats like most of your pellets. So you end up just doing like five damage per shot or something. Uh, we should be okay on beat. Have an 
unlock the Shogun factory, even though you've got more than 50 with a slug variant, 50 stars with a slug variant. Dude, you know who unlock this gun is really good. It's, it's the best shotgun in my opinion. Quite frankly, I probably prefer it to all the slug variants as well. In terms of like how many kills I can get. Why is there a guy with a bipod there? Buckshot shotguns are boring. I find them quite fun. Like you just basically run around and like you press W, you shoot everyone. That's that's fun. At least for me. That was a bad idea. I'm not, I'm not gonna jump over there again. Twelve G aside, you don't use them. You use for twelve G? Why? It's so bad. Like, this is just, like, a way better 12G. My frame rate was, like, when, like, one FPS there. Oh yeah, man, the veteran is way underrated. More, more people need to use that gun. Machine gun, watch it, boys. Almost feels like halfway between like a, a sniper rifle and like a slug shotgun. In in terms of how it plays, it really suits my playstyle very well. I think. I was unlucky. Uh, do I need to switch here? You don't think Vetterly is underrated? I never really see many people using it. Find it one of the worst snipers? No, I have to disagree. I think it's I think it's my favorite. It's I think it's probably the strongest one. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Again for the second round in a row. It takes skill. You think the veteran takes skill compared to other snipers? It's got a 20 meter to 50 meter sweet spot. Like, that's like the most, possibly the most relevant sweet spot in the entire game. Like, probably, damn it, probably even stronger than the, uh, than the Martini sweet spot on balance. No, it's 20 meters to 50 meters, man. You rarely score a sweet spot kill with it. Um, I mean, if you aim at the upper torso, for me, it's like I constantly get sweet spots with that. Like, probably more than any other um, any other rifle. Maybe I think I get more with a martini. But then, obviously, that has a much slower rate of fire, so... Oh, how is he not dead? Ari Saka is close to Martini sweet spot. Yes, Martini is 30 to 80. Ari Saka is 30 to 62.5. So you get 17 and a half more meters of sweet spot with Martini and you get the super sweet spot where you can uh, shoot someone in the upper arm or the uh, lower torso and still kill them. Okay. Anyone gonna shoot these guys? Yeah, SMLE is 40 to 75, I wanna say. 
which is yeah inside the uh inside the martini this team is bad it's 40 to 70 uh, it's 40 to 75 right i need to check that on simphic That was unlucky. That's why I, that's why buckshot shotguns are annoying. If that was a slug, I kill that guy. How was he not dead? Dude, I don't understand. Right, we need this train. We really need this train. There he is. Getting stuck on other little rocks. E. Is our train actually doing something? No, our trains our trains camping as well. This team is so fucking bad, holy shit. Somehow still alive, huh? It's gonna go to eight. No teammates though. I need teammates with me if I'm gonna cap that flag. Okay, we got teammates right now. Couple guys here. How is he not dead, dude? What is happening? Two shots directly on the guy. And no kills. Oh, so that's a kill. Barely even saw him. Missed. I missed like one shot. I think I'm okay there, otherwise.
<laughs> Gliding down the hill. Dude, die. Die. Holy shit. That's for 1903 experimental. I have low spread while well, ADS. Um, in which mode? Sniper rifle has zero. The rifle mode has like zero spread when ADS. The um, semi auto mode has a decent amount of spread. Like. 0.24 degrees, I want to say. Which is, like, not huge, but it's not nothing. There we are. Experimental mode? Uh, yeah, that's 0.24, so it's... For what it is, it's fine. Like, uh, spread is not going to be your limiting factor with that gun. It's going to be um, damage model. That limits you more than anything. In terms of range. I shot that guy. Yeah, exactly. It's a pea shooter, so it's fine in close quarters. It's a free hit kill. It'll get you the same time to kill as like the auto loading extended. And then kind of beyond that, it, it drops off quite quickly. That's going to limit you more than spread will. Like far more than spread will. damage he, you can literally miss one pellet with this with this gun if you miss two pellets you will not one shot someone God, what? What just happened? No! <laughs> On par with a trench carbine, it's basically the same. It's the exact same damage model as a trench carbine, uh, but you get worse hip fire than the um, than both variants, and worse ADS than the patrol variant. Which, I mean, considering. Considering you also get a bolt action mode, I think it's honestly a really good pick. Like, the main limiting factor of the trench carbine is just range. And the fact that you have, like, a really, really strong... A really, really strong sniper rifle. To offset that really, really helps a lot. I don't know how I didn't kill that first guy with a shotgun. You really like how consistently this thing two shots? It would be nice if it more consistently one shot, but I guess that's kind of a trade off that dice. That dice gave it. I don't want to do Sinai. I'd rather do ballroom again. Yeah, that was kind of a bad round. The team, the team was not good. He was. I didn't even notice he was spamming the nightmare free behind the sniper shield. What a legend! That's the optimal way to play that gun. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you. Goof teammates? No, you type that you type that correctly, Rosardo. Mm. 
His teammates were in fact goofs. Oh hey, you're 150 now. I see you there. Right, let us snipe. Let us use veterly. Seeing as Rixie thinks it's so bad. I love the whistle. Come on, fellas, let's move. We are souls of Argon, now the bastards of ballroom. Well, oh, that was a person for a second. You used to believe that sweet spot ends at 34 meters? Yeah, but you were wrong. You were wrong, and you, st you still thought it was bad. I mean, this thing's like a sweet spot machine. And this isn't even like, this isn't even the best map for it. Thanks for a follow, Cabal. Machine gun right there. Can we hit the guy. <laughs> uh, I love hitting headshots with this thing. So satisfying. That was not a sweet spot. So that doesn't count. Sure. Man, I'm kind of sad I didn't kill that guy. For the first shot. I don't know if I survive if I do that, but I think if a rocket was already midair. Enemy machine gun over there. Okay, too many, too many snipers peeking this one angle. Enemy horse rider over there. Didn't really miss the entire horse. Snipe this, bro. Fucking. The rocket gun. I always get one shot by the rocket gun. I don't know why. Whenever I try and snipe people with it, I never, I never hit someone. Give me medic right over there. Oh. All right, just keep doing that. I don't want to stay around in the balcony all round. Rocket gun's your favorite gadget in the game. I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I mean, it's, fi it's fine for like killing. It's fine for killing vehicles. But I, I don't like how strong it is against infantry for, for like camping. useful for everything. I mean, if it didn't one-shot infantry to the body, then that would be fine, right? I wouldn't have any issues with it at that point. Okay, someone's up on the balcony. Sam, shot trooper. Need ammunition. Use special infantry? I don't have it unlocked. It's the one you've got to, um... You've got to get, like, 20 periscope spots with it. To, uh, to unlock it. 
and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Besides, I like the carbine variant. I like the uh, red dot. Over there, enemy tank. Uh, how was that not a hit? Is this PC? Yes, this is PC. I don't want to run towards that tank. I'm going to go back up towards C. You spotted it last night? Oh. Six years, six years later and people are still buying this game. It's, it's really great to see. Problem, that's a problem. Unlucky. Yeah, only play on community servers. Uh, there's loads of hackers in like the Dice official servers. Fortunately, there's still a bunch of uh, community servers up. Like I'm playing at almost 11 o'clock at night, and there's no issue finding them in the EU. Let's see what happens to this guy. Alright, I'm not going up there. See, an enemy see, that guy was more than 35 meters away. Easy one shot. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a game's an absolute bargain right now. So much content for for very cheap. Uh, where was the guy here? Where was he? Who's got ammo? Where are the enemies at? Oh yeah, Battlefield 1 still looks great, even in 2023. Got him. In this game, six, uh, it's uh, over six years old now, yeah. Came out in like October 2016. And it still looks way better than like most games, even even new games. Yeah, that's enemy cavalry. Movement. Okay, I don't understand how that didn't hit him. Oh no, 2016. No, I can't peek that. 2042 felt like a downgrade. Yeah, I think a lot of people felt that. Uh, my PC doesn't run 2042. It saves me from, from having to play it. So I can't really give you my official opinion. I can only really relay whatever people say. But just from watching it, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. It looks like really, really wide open. There's another sweet spot. I play on PC, yep. I've played on PC for like a decade now, more than a decade, I think. No, I hit him in the lower torso. Damn it, dude, that was a bad aim. Yeah, so I switched from PlayStation to PC uh, like back in like 2012 or something. I have not looked back. It's definitely the way to go. My P 
PC won't run it. Uh, yeah, my uh, I've got a 980 Ti, which uh, struggles. Like it can run it off stream, but when I tried streaming it, it just it didn't go well. Like I was getting constant frame drops. I was dropping frames on a stream. It just felt really, really bad. Like I'll get a new PC up some point and then I'll try 2042. Like I'll give it like I'll give it a fair try. Your first year, so you're trying to adjust. For shooters, I recommend um I recommend trying Aim Lab, which is free on Steam. I didn't see that guy. Which will, uh, which is very, very useful for like just learning how to, uh, how to control your mouse in a variety of situations, and that would that will really help your, uh, your adjustment. I need a medic. Up a shock trooper. Okay, fair enough. Will this guy revive me? No, he will not. He will run away. You can grow up with computers, so you never naturally learn. Is for something you're like in specific that you're uh, that you're having trouble adjusting to, or is it just general overall? Unlucky man. Unlucky. Just mouse and keyboard. Oh, in that case, uh, just as I said, just try Aim Lab. It's on Steam, and just do that like 10, 15 minutes a day, and that will really help you get used to get used to things, get used to moving your mouse. And having like having what happens on screen actually uh, be be what you want to happen. My aim is bad today. Over there is enemy uh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. You're much better than you are a year ago. Yeah, yeah, it definitely takes time and just 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 generally spending spending time on on PC with using a mouse and keyboard will will lead to improvements. But then like doing an aim trainer or something can uh, speed up those improvements basically. Kind of almost like, you know, lifting weights helps you get stronger, you know? Is Battlefield 1 dead? Not at all. I can, uh, I never have any difficulty finding servers. And I even, like, tend to play quite, quite late at night. Oh. So yeah, if you're on if you're on PC in Europe, you'll have no issues, um, or North America for that matter, you'll have no issues. Find a good mouse DPI, yeah. I mean, my 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 sensitivity is quite low. Like I have like a I don't know, like a twenty inch three sixty or something like that. So like from one side of my mouse, I'll show you in a second once I kill this guy. Come on. I'm getting no luck this round. You know, 1200 DPI? Yeah, it depends on what your resolution is as well. Uh, you mentioned 1080, right? Or is that someone else? But yeah, the, high, the higher the resolution is, you're gonna, you're gonna want to go for a higher DPI. Yeah, that was you, I thought so. So I'm on 1080p as well, and I use 800 DPI. 
If I was if I moved to like 4K, I would up my DPI to uh, probably 1200 or 1600. Even if even if my monitor size was the same. But yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you. Uh, my mouse... So this is starting up a very... Can I stop being shot? Okay, okay. I guess I guess chat will never learn. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a uh, direct correlation between screen resolution and DPI. It stands for uh, dots per inch. And with more resolution, you get more dots. Something like that, anyway. Enemy medic. Oh no, I hit him in the... Gun I hit him in the lower torso. Yeah, I'm trying to, sh I'm trying to show uh, my, my 360 distance, just so uh, you guys can get uh, an understanding of my sensitivity. And I... Keep getting killed before I can show off. Let me just let me just kill all these enemies. Oh, I missed. Damn, maybe Rixie was right. Maybe Vetterly is actually secretly bad. We'll, we'll blame it all on the gun. Enemy shock trooper, moving around. What? Where? He had inconspicuous. Never lucky, man. Never lucky. Still up there, isn't he? Same spot. Yes, enemy. Oh no, I bro! Are you fucking kidding me? I try and nade him, and he blocks my nade. Team is his team is really bad. Yeah, this is the same team we had last round. Dude, this, this is terrible. I'm, I'm switching class. I'm switching class. I'm going medic. Right, so this is my 360. This is my 360 here. I'm starting on the left side of my mouse pad. I don't even... And that's the full extent of my mouse pad right there. I don't even do a full 360. First aid, please. First aid, use it. Might as well go to affiliate with the ads. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to stream on YouTube. Or any other platform. Which would be an issue. Dude, this team is so bad. The Selb Slabber, yeah. This team needs the behemoth, man. Uh, no one gonna shoot this guy? No? Okay. Just me. I can fix your wolf. Seriously? I am having absolutely no luck here. Was medics AFK as well. Enemy scout sighted. Yeah. 
We got a guy over here. Oh yeah, that's really Scott. Twelve gigs for a game trainer? Is it that big? They sound like free gig for me. <coughs> oh no, I almost got the hacker shot. You said aim lab, I just say aim lab, yeah. I'll have to check my install size then. I didn't think it was 12 gig. Seriously, what am I supposed to do here, man? This is just pain. Guy here. Look there. No, how I was so far out of that fire. I was so far out of that fire, man. This. How am I? How do I always get such bad luck? Take the medical pouch. We got a thirty-two gig racing game that ballooned to two hundred gig. Yeah. They do tend to do that. They keep adding like new skins into Aim Lab and such because it's free, and then like that's how they monetize it. So I guess all those all those skins probably take up a bunch of space. Literally never lucky. Hopefully, hopefully next round's better. Hopefully we get like Suez or something and the team's actually decent. You wounded. I can help you. Oh, that's a tank, okay. was mods coming from console racers to PCs awesome. What PC racers have you been playing? Like I personally want to get into sim racing, but I need a uh, I need a wheel first. You can shoot through those walls. That was a set of course. Oh you must have downloaded a ton of mods then. I know that game's got a great modding scene. There's some first aid. I can patch your wounds. Yeah, the ones I the ones I want to try are uh, Seto Corsa Competizione and and I Racing. I want to do those two. Jesus, this team is so bad. How are they back there? Man, this, this round's a complete write-off. Literally one of the worst teams I've been on in a long time. Want me to patch your wounds? Do 
do they know they can shoot through that? No. All right. Car talk? We weren't even talking about cars, Vixie. We were talking about car games, which is different. It was video game talk. Thank God that round's over. That was horrendous. I want to do... I want to do, like... I'm going to use the Parabellum. I don't know. I don't know, Rosardo. I have good I have good games when you're not here. Yeah, I know i racing is very very expensive and time consuming. But I want to do like those um in like the 24 hour events that we do. I want to do those at some point. My god, that round was terrible. Project Cars games were fun, but now it's dead. Yeah, they made like a couple of sequels as well to Project Cars, which basically killed the franchise. I feel I feel like from what I've seen, Project Cars is like too much of a simulation to appeal to casual people, but not good enough of a simulation to really um to really get like the core sim racing fans playing it. Let's join. Let's join Metzlor. Also, Automobilista. Yeah, I've heard good things about that too. Um, what is it that they're using? They've got the uh, 24 hour virtual Le Mans coming up with like Max Verstappen racing in it. Um, they're using R Factor 2 for that, right? Uh, uh, is this guy AFK? Is he having a heart attack? What? Is he doing... Okay, there we go. He's finally woken up. Okay, I'll just hang around. Hang around on B. Get hit, thank you. Thank you. Can I stab this guy in the back? No need, he's already dead. We may have to go to another server here. Actually, didn't die to a rocket gun somehow. Take that ammunition. Our enemy is taking our objective. Project Cars is the uh, yeah, the spiritual sector to the Need for Speed Shift games, yeah. I only played them a little bit, but they were they were quite good. 
again, we're kind of in that kind of weird spot where it's like kind of a simulation, kind of arcade. I feel like doesn't really appeal to so many people. Oh, run away. Yeah, Simcade, exactly. I mean, saying that, Forza and Gran Turismo are very successful, so it clearly does appeal to some people. I mean, I used to play a ton of Gran Turismo back on the uh, back on the PS2. I think the server's probably dead. We're gonna find another one. Let's see. Let's see what's up. I don't want to join AMG because I've had terrible performance on that server recently. Ooh, I'll join IP. There we go. Infantry Paradise. Yeah, ser the, the last two rounds really did kill the server. Now, nah, Rixie, you don't need to learn how to drive. Uh, what have I just joined? Especially like living in France, you know, you, you of course have like loads of good public transport, I assume. Reg feels a lot better on the server already. You want those wounds packed? Actually, feels like my shots are registered first time I'm asking. Your wounds, I can fix them. Dude, I don't want to go for that guy. There he is. Right now we're okay. You got damage? I'll fix you up. First aid. Oh yeah, you live in Canada. I was actually just talking about this earlier today, um, before I started the stream, that uh, I wouldn't want to go live in Canada just because I would basically have to drive, and I don't want to go somewhere where where driving is basically mandatory. unless you unless you maybe live in like Vancouver or somewhere like that you basically have to drive in Canada maybe like some parts of Toronto you want an R34 since you were 10 dude I, I love that car in the uh, in the Gran Turismo games it's like my favorite car to use I mean I don't, don't get me wrong man I totally love to have one myself but equally, I'd like to live somewhere where I don't have to drive. Shit. Okay, this is this is not good balance. It's actually somehow even worse balance than VG. shot.
You only have two four-hour train rides to the largest city in the country per day, dude. That's that's really bad. Unless you're living somewhere like really, really remote. Like I'm living somewhere fairly remote, and I get like a train every hour. Definitely, definitely the state of public transport would put me off of going to North America. Literally just shooting into these guys' spawn. I feel so bad. Yeah, man, I have a train station at my castle. Just, just for me. Okay, that was bad. Let's uh let's have a more fun round next. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. Everywhere in Scotland is remote compared to compared to France. A self cider star. And a battle pack. You live in London. Oh, London, Ontario. Yeah, I, I know London, Ontario. The, uh, the YouTube channel, not just bikes. The, uh, the guy who runs that comes from there. So he, like, he features it a lot. And, and not always positively. It, def it definitely doesn't look like somewhere that I personally want to move to. Not unless I absolutely had to, you know. No, I, I definitely want to, like, stay somewhere, like, not super remote, but, like, I don't want to live in, like, a huge city. Small city, town, countryside, any of those is fine for me. Oh, the impact nade. Oh, those nades, man. Perfect accuracy grenades. He's an ass. Anywhere could look bad. I mean, I don't think he's lying about like the strodes and such. And like the car centric nature of it. I mean if he is if he is lying about it, he's doing a very good job. Being very thorough. I'm just so unlucky. I'm just so unlucky. It's unbelievable. Jean, it's on visual. Alright, that's kind of a problem. Oh, a triple. Oh, baby, a triple. 
that's all my luck for the entire day right there. Rosardo. Oh, there's another guy. There's another guy. All right, I need health. Never lucky. Oh no, no, oh, if, my, if I'm able to get that dynamite off he dies. Okay, do they have every single elite class in the entire game going after me? I heard him last second. All right, so he's like, so he's not, so he's not depicting his, uh, his hometown accurately, in your opinion, then. I mean, I've, I've never gone, so I was kind of like basing off of what he was saying. Seriously, man, are you kidding me? No one's even turning around. No one even sees this guy. All right, we need to. We need to get B. Quelqu'un a des munitions? Oh boy. All right, teammates helping me finally. Was let you have it saying you were saying thinking that pedestrians should risk their lives yeah man just just walk in traffic no no difficulties at all <laughs> well like every single round today pretty much has just been wall-to-wall -wall pain Oh, so how the fuck does this guy have 33 kills already? Is our, is our team that bad? Hey, thanks for following, man. You like his train stuff? Dude, I need, I need some Switzerland trains in my life.
Oh my god, are you f We're about to get all cap too. Oh, this game is testing me today, man. Every round is somehow more painful than the last. Oh, we got him. Yeah, we're getting all caps. Okay, new server. I'm not, I'm not staying for that. Join Bob Six instead. Oh yeah, I remember that video where he's talking about how to improve London with a uh, London, Ontario, with a sub with a subway. Of course, I'm not familiar with the layout, so I don't know if any anything he was saying was really feasible. All right, I can do Argon. Yeah, that was hey, that was an actual close round. Maybe I've joined a balanced server for the first time tonight. Yeah, a lot of North American cities need need more more subway systems. Without doubt. You shouldn't have to own a car just to get to work. Feel guilty for making it unbalanced. Yeah, it was all you, Rosardo. All right, let's actually let's actually have a fun game. Challenge in level impossible. Hey cowboy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? The city of London is uh, bisected by two national rail lines running parallel, three, four, two or three kilometers apart, and each street is a level crossing. That doesn't sound optimal for city planning. I'm not gonna lie. Planning, yeah, that, that elite to your Americans, North American city planning. Just add, just add one more lane, bro. Trust me. How oh, is he behind me? I didn't even see him. I did not see that guy at all. Get hit, please. Get hit. How, how did... What the fuck just happened? I literally shot that guy. Oh, 
in this game confuses me sometimes. This game confuses me so much. That guy should have been dead from the first over shot. I heard a guy. Unlucky. Kind of want to spawn. There we go. Stand up, please. Stand up. Thank you. <laughs> of course, there's a bipod right there. And the 100% accurate incendiary grenade. That strap doesn't even know I'm there and just drops a nade on me anyway. Every time there's been a push to build a ring road or properly controlled access highway, he gets put down to the NIMBYs. Oh, that's a shame. Let's try and actually cap a flag. That's an enemy scout. I think it's really strong off the bipod. Right in enemy sock trooper. There he is. Enemy machine gun over there. I heard another guy, I don't know where he is. There he is. There was another guy up here. Oh. Don't want to get sniped though. We need ammo! Enemy machine gun sighted! Let's try and kill that guy's health crate. Did he spawn there? All right, good night, Rixie. Thanks for stopping by.
didn't see that guy. Behind me, they are behind me. Hey, maneuver, how are you doing today? Oh, we're already okay here. Good, that's good to hear. Uh, I'm doing well. Had like the worst games today though so far. Hoping it starts to improve a bit. interrupted a little slumber party there. Oh, we got... We got some enemies over here. Finally getting some kills. I need that guy's kit. Take the medical pouch. Oh boy, oh boy, run away, run away. Watch it, boys. 12 gigs on your drive. Well, I'll, I'll get you one third of aim, lab, apparently. Shot a wall. Yeah, I, I saw Nort was mentioning that he was going to quit the game for a month or quit streaming, and he mentioned like something about like a, a doctor's appointment as well. Like, I hope he's okay. Just enough for Aim Lab, yeah. Oh, okay, I was already dead. Yeah, some of the games today have been really, really bad. I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes in this game, I think. You're using second and third hand hard drives. Yeah, I had to buy. I had to buy like a one terabyte SSD a couple of years ago because I ran out of. I ran out of space with how. With how big games are getting these days. Hmm. I should have looked that way first. Other hobbies that take your SSD money. Well, there's your problem, man. Just don't have any other hobbies. Just only ever play Battlefield.
I missed like one shot. I think I killed that guy otherwise. It's not your hobbies, it'll be for wife's hobbies. Okay, that guy just threw a nade at me for no reason. Oh god. Why is there someone prone up there? Crafting is a money pit? What kind of things is... What kind of things do you craft? Oh, not vegan that. Not vegan is that. See if I can get that through there. We can. Nice. Sweet spot. Modern Warfare 2 campaign is decent, but the problem is that no one dies and the game is so spineless. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard it was kind of mediocre. I haven't played it myself. <clears throat> I need more health. I'm never gonna have health again. That you didn't. The only part of Modern Warfare 2 campaign I saw was that part where, like, you're doing some, like, raid on, like, a residential area. And there's that, like... Hold down left... Hold down right mouse button to, uh... To de-escalate and you just straight up aims. <laughs> just straight up aims for gun at the guy. Oh, that was the one part that I saw. We just seem wild. Does stickers, painting, custom vinyl clothing. Oh, that sounds very interesting. I need ammo. I need ammo now. Shot trooper, watch him. I knew I was dead there. I just watched kill one guy. Press F to pay respects is the only thing you remember from any of the modern warfares. Wasn't that from Advanced Warfare? Crafting and building is a much better hobby than Netflixing. Yeah, crafting and building I think is a good hobby to have. I say this as someone who doesn't do any of that, but... It would definitely be a hobby that would interest me, I think. If I were to spend the time. Advanced Warfare, yeah. It, it, Call, Call have basically been making like very similar games now for like 15 years. Only, only minor iterations. I need ammo. 
All right, well, there's nothing I can do about my trade now. Just gonna go back to D, I guess. dynamite I used it all on the train oh, oh that's the problem how was that not a hit dice how was that not a hit I was literally dead on the guy. Couldn't have possibly missed and and nothing. Unfortunate. <laughs> Also, did that guy headshot me twice with the RSC? Because if so, those were really good shots. Oh, Here I go, spamming needs again. Five hundred and seventy damage. Oh man, this is where you want to be with a ribby roll. This is where you want to be with this gun. Uh, that's a lot of nades. Too many. Too many. All EA games look the same now. Um. I don't know if I'd say that. I think like... 2042 looks very different from from Apex, for example. That right here. I'm sloppy aim. Star Wars games look identical to this. Yeah, this uses a very similar UI to uh, to Battlefront. Mm, where did he go? It was definitely a complaint when this game came out that it looked too similar to uh, to Battlefront uh, 2015. Oh, I don't really see that as too much of a criticism, just because of how good that game looks. Movement 
spotted enemy men Let's spam some nades. See what we got. <gasps> Shit, too many. Okay, that was a decent round in the end. I'll be right back. Oh, I played the um, I played the campaign of my little honor twenty ten. It was really bad, and I never tried the multiplayer. Okay, I'm not sure if this server will survive or not. I'll give it a couple minutes. Oh, 
geri görüldü. How did I not get the assist counts kill there? Düşman hücum kütesi askeri. Senin. Oraya bakın. Buradan dur. Şu mühimmatı al. No, the server's gonna die. Go, go to another one. The moment, the moment I find a balanced server, it instantly dies. I didn't even play many multiplayer games back in back in 2010. Like the first multiplayer shooter I really got into would be um, would be BF4, I think, in like 2014. All right, I can maybe rejoin Infantry Paradise if the balance is going to be better. for a follow Adriac. I mean, I guess I can try AMG one. Yeah, I'll, I'll join AMG. What? I'll join AMG. And hopefully I get better performance than I than I have done the past couple nights. I dial up in 2007 and had 50 ping on WoW. It took pictures three minutes to load. I only got broadband in like 2005. So I, I distinctly remember that kind of that kind of experience. And is this gonna load? Do we have a bug? I think we have the bug. Gonna restart the game. Actually, yeah, stream deck, man, it would take... It'd be way easier to, like, switch between scenes. Turn on and off shadow play, that kind of thing. Alright. Which server am I going to join, then? Right, I'll, I'll, go to infantry, I'll go to Infantry Paradise. more balanced I hope so I really hope so let's do an actual full round of the power battle now we'll join Rosardo actually there we go Wasn't a stomp last round? Well, I, I've just joined, so uh, I'm sure it'll be a stomp this round. Based off of my luck. My luck for tonight. I will say the servers in this game have been very, very accurate. Uh, 
accurate. Active recently. Like normally about this time I'd be having to go to Grumpy in um, North America. Hey, let's try and let's try and run some try and run some fools down. Oh shit. Let's not try and run anyone down. There's a tank in there. But worse timing. Remember, sorry if Miss Jackson took two hours to download, dude. I remember like downloading songs on Napster would take me uh, would take me like a full hour. Too many. It wasn't even too many. It was just like I had the worst timing. The moment I came out of ADS, like two of them came around the corner. I could have killed him if I stayed ADS. This guy's dead. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Alright, I can't. I can't play that window anymore. Man, the flare was right behind me. I knew it was there, but I thought it was further to the left. Like, I deliberately, like, ran, like, that specific direction just because I thought it, I'd be missing the flare if I did that. So you nuts off the bipod. That's why I like using on this map. You can really abuse the bipod. Flash your money, Oh, please. Thank you. Okay, guys, you think that's enough nades? No, maybe. Oh, what the fuck just happened? What just happened? <laughs> oh, it's a stomp, isn't it? I knew it would be a stomp as soon as I joined. I know it's because I joined, exactly. So I guess if anyone has any server that they really hate and they really want dead, let me know, I'll join it, and within one round it will be it will be the worst server in the entire game, that's a promise.
The enemy team isn't even super good. Like, they don't have anyone who's, like, absolutely popping off. They don't have a squad that's, like, stacking a thing. It's just this team is really, really bad. We'll, we'll try and help them out. At least, at least we're still... At least we still have one flag. Thanks for a follow 12. Run through that, through that alley. Huh, oh, okay. He must have been bipodded. We lost eight. They have a tank. Even my team in this right now. Also, the SMG killed by a band gun as well. Because what else? I missed. I missed a couple shots. Maybe this guy reses me? Hey, he does. Nice. What a nice lad. Ich brauche einen Sunny! Sanitäter, wenn wir getroffen! Right, okay, our team's actually doing something now. Belatedly. Why was there someone watching that angle? That was a very weird angle to watch. As long as for someone watching that, I really don't want to peek around that corner. <laughs> Mock the Ribe Factory, and it's a nice weapon. Uh, yeah, it's a really a very solid gun, I think. I don't think it's super strong. But it's a very good all rounder type of gun. Alright, uh, be smart here. Yeah. 
dead. I'm dead. Unbalanced match. This is one of the more balanced matches I've had today so far. If you can believe it. Almost every round today has been an absolute chore. Can't beat that. Run, just run. If I don't look at the enemies, then they can't see me, and if they can't see me, then they can't shoot me. That's the logic I'm working off of right now. Alright, just do that so no one can push me. Many generally storm feels better than factory for normal mode. Yeah, because the the Leo has like a ton of um a ton of horizontal recoil, which kind of really limits it at like even medium range. It bounces around a lot, especially when you compare it to like the 1906, which has no recoil. So just cutting down on that recoil makes a big big difference. Oh, they're going beat. What the fuck? Yeah, cover your eyes. You're, you're, you're too young. You're too young and innocent to see that. There we go. Again, just press W, what can go wrong? W keeps you safe. Oh my god, it's a sentry. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on. The balance hasn't really improved too much. But we're doing what we can. Dude, 39 and 7 right now. No lion man without me, this team would be all capped. What's gonna call me a cheater? Uh, I don't know. I find that, like, the amount of accusations I get, like, doesn't really... doesn't really ever correlate with how well I'm doing. It's just, it's basically just random. Like, if you kill someone who's, like, having a bad day, they're gonna call you a hacker. Even if, like, you're doing basically nothing. Oh. I don't... Oh! Oh, damn it, dude. Why well, was for someone there? I wasn't expecting that. There we go. Uh, I got just spawn or was I blind? He did spawn, he did spawn, he spawned right behind me. You all saw that. That was the same guy I killed before. I spawns right there. This 
This is the most this is the most cursed day I've had in this game in a long time. Oh, why is there someone there? That's a weird place to be prone. Not quite. Nade was a little bit short there. Okay, he knows I'm here now. Where was he? Am I blind or something? He was right in front of me. And I never saw him. I was looking right at him. Oh my god, there's three of them. I, I was thinking there was going to be one guy in there, no lie. I thought there was only going to be one of them. Far west? Uh, not, not super far west. I'm not like, I'm not mega remote or anything. Uh, okay, I didn't even see him. You're pretty central? Yeah, you mentioned you were from like... I forget where you mentioned you're from. It was like around Sterling, I want to say. But I feel like I might be, I might be wrong on that. There we go. Oh, Lanark, okay. I was misremembering. This brain is killing my brain. This, this game is killing my brain cells, okay? So don't judge me too hard. Bipod power belt. All right, if our train is smart, he'll just sit back by A. Yeah, he is smart. If he just stays here, it'll be difficult to kill him, and he'll still be able to have an influence with a mortar. <laughs> to living in one of the worst places Scotland has to offer. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you there, man. Yeah, you have my condolences. <laughs> This thing is an actual chainsaw. Flash your munition. Gas. The gas again. 
All right, well, the balance is kind of a bit better now. Even though our train is dead. That's a lot of explosives. I don't wanna I don't really wanna repeat that. He's gotta be very, very low, right? There we go. It's always it's always worth it to if you die um helping kill a tank even if you don't get the kill yourself it's still a good thing let's see those guys Friends in places like Inverness, Glasgow, the two and Verso. Verso area is really nice. I, I like that kind of like the highlands and like the west, the west coast way out there. They're like they're like the nicest parts of Scotland in my opinion. being on fire, big fan of it. Just playing just playing aim lab right now. I got out aim lapped. Dude, chat is very chat is very salty right now. Gas is worse than the SMG08. I think gas is more annoying than the SMG08. I don't I don't think it's stronger. Okay, that was an okay round. Uh, breeze, I suppose. But yeah, VRT truck, more Muramets, attack plane, ev every vehicle basically is worse than the SMG08. Yeah, it was balanced actually. After the initial, like, the initial bad balance at the start. Yeah, the Parabellum is absolutely nuts. Seriously, it's like the ideal gun for that map because you have like the uh, the high rate of fire for the close quarter stuff and then you can just... You have a Huramet. Um, Yeah, you have the bipod which you can use on the windowsill. You can get like surprisingly good range. Like those guys were like 80 meters away from me or something like that. 78 meters away. And I was killing them no problem with my 700 RPM LMG. Okay, brightness, brightness hacks enabled. And what gun to use? Never mind, brightness hacks worthless because the server's dead. I don't think this one stays alive. 
Well, I... Uh, I had one good round, I guess, today. Then this ever immediately died. The proof servers. Yeah, so so anyone anyone as I said as I mentioned earlier, anyone who wants a server dead, you just you let me know. You let me know if there's like someone like you really hate some server admin you really hate, you can just pay me some money, I will join their server for one round. Guaranteed to kill it. Without exception. I'm joining AMG one right now. All right, let's go Mondragon. Okay, last couple times I've joined this server, my performance has been complete shit. Like, I've been getting huge frame drops. So hopefully that's not happening today. Any tips for a rookie? Um, this game is very new friendly. There's not a huge skill gap, especially in like things like the movement. There's a lot of easy mode gadgets. Like you can, there's a lot of nade spam in this game to help you pick up kills. Yeah, press Q, spot. You want a spot? For me, I have that bound to left alt, which uh, highlights your enemy's red or your entire team, which is very, very helpful. Yeah, I'm a double agent in VG. Also, I recommend generally you want to play quite aggressive in this game. I see a lot of new players like kind of scared. They start camping. I think you want to avoid doing that. I think you probably want to press W more often than you would um, necessarily think as a new player. And beyond that, just cap objectives like here in this flag. You want to you want to get your body on the objective you want to and you want to use your class so for me i'm playing medic right now that means i have a syringe to revive and health health pouches to heal you want to throw them at your teammates like even if even if you're not getting any kills at all it's always good having a having a teammate who's reviving healing dropping ammo firing firing flares helping kill tanks that sort of thing. If you play your class, you're you're going to be ahead of like half the players in this game at least, even if you can't do anything else. And do pressing W may cause lower KD. Uh, yeah, it might hurt your KD, but you'll probably help as well. Like, it'll get you more kills than you would camping. But yeah, just just run at the objectives. If in doubt, follow your teammates. Oh. Too many. Yeah, as I said, it's easy to get scared playing this game if you're a new player, like having 32 enemies to deal with big maps it's easy to just start like camping because it's like it's safer and it is safer to camp but you'll probably have less fun and you'll definitely in the long run kind of be handicapping yourself because you'll never really learn the game all right where are the enemies When you first played the game, you were scared to move. Yo, me too. Me too. Basically, you're gonna you're gonna die when you play this game. You're gonna die a fair amount, no matter how good you are. But I feel like it's worth to just learn to accept that. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't just press W like out in the open. Try and use cover. 
like see how I'm just running down here. So I've, so I've kind of got some cover next to me. If someone starts shooting at me, I can jump behind that rock. I can jump behind this little little ridge. Recommend specializing in one class? Uh, no. Use use a variety of classes. Use what you like. It's not like there's one class that's harder or easier necessarily. I would say if you're brand new and like you're not really uh, very good at other shooter games, maybe try playing Assault and Support. Because for the LMGs in this game, you um, have negative spread, so you just hold down mouse button one and you... Um, after a couple shots, you'll be at minimum spread. So you won't have to worry about like burst firing or anything. But yeah, just, just use what you like, really. Don't let anyone tell you you've got to play, yeah, you've got to play like a specific class. If you enjoy the semi-autos, play medic. If you enjoy sniping, play scout. Oh god, I'm dead. I didn't see that guy. Yo, how does this guy have 35 kills on our team? Oh, he's in a plane, okay. He's in a plane and he's just farming everyone. That makes sense, I thought, I thought it was a hacker. Just merely a vehicle abuser. Gaming socks. You say that like plane you, you say that like pilots actually use hygiene at all. He probably has socks on, but they're super crusty, like they've literally fused with his skin. And the good thing is weapons in this game are very, very balanced. Like, it's going to be hard for you to find a, a bad weapon. There's a great, there's a lot of weapon variety and they're, they're balanced extremely well. So basically, just pick what you like to look up. That was unlucky. RSC wouldn't have gotten me killed there? Uh, maybe, yeah. But I already have 100 stars on the RSC. I don't think he's going to peek. Both variants? Now the optical variant. I'm doing one variant per gun, you know? On the 100 service star challenge. So therefore I won't use the factory until... Um, until I've completed that challenge. Okay, bro. They're already dead. Well, at least we helped kill the horse. I'll take it. Yeah, you have to. You have to have good aim to use the RSC. I think. It, it, it's a gun that very much punishes missing because of its low rate of fire. Like your time to kill literally doubles on the spot if you miss a single shot. 
my tips for being a better player. You can see that guy. Um, I recommend downloading an aim trainer. I was recommending aim labs earlier because this game there's not very much uh, skill gap for movement and in terms of like gadgets you know they're, they're very simple you basically just spam explosives at the enemies but main skill gap in this game is just aim like if you aim better than the other guy you're probably going to win your fights so uh yeah download name trainer uh use it 15 minutes or so a day you will very quickly become a better player You see SMG08? No, that, that's bad advice. That's bad advice. Ign ignore that chatter. Oh, is he not dead? Shit. I thought I killed that first guy. I always use it. Yeah, yeah, I'm an SNG8 main. Anyone who watches the stream will know that. Thanks for a follow, Hassan. Thanks for a follow, Jacker. Okay, okay, fair enough. First time ever not using it, dude. I, I've I've developed some hacks for use of, for use for other streamers that replace the SMG08 gun model with the 12G automatic gun model, so it looks like you're using a bad gun, but actually you're using a super over overpowered gun. I'm doing it. I'm using it right now, actually. This is actually the SMG08. It only looks like the Mondragon. That's how I beat that assault in close quarters right there. Is the optical Mondragon the one I'm using for 100 stars? Yes. I think the I think the optical is the best variant. It's the it's the one you can spam the best because of its uh, lower spread increase per shot. I'm not a big fan of the sniper variants on SLRs for the same reason I'm not doing the um, the 1906 sniper. Uh, we should be okay on B. We prefer the sniper one. The sniper one is a nice optic, but and it has low base spread. But the moment you start spamming it. Your spread just goes all over the place. With the optical, you can fire faster. And after, like, even after, literally the second shot on the optical is more accurate than the second shot on the sniper variant. And by the time you're up to, like, a fifth shot, it's a huge difference between optical spread and sniper spread in the optical variant's favor. Like, use the sniper variant if you, if you like. It's got the bipod, which is nice. It has the scope, which is nice. But I prefer the optical variant. We have use optical variant on Farquhar. Spread-wise, spread-wise, this is exactly... Nice. Spread-wise, this is, um... Yeah, exactly the same as the Farquhar optical. Like, if you like the Farquhar optical, you better use this as well. This is basically just a Farquhar optical with fewer rounds and a better damage model. Least favorite SLR, probably the one you're watching me use right now. Maybe, maybe the 1906. But the 1906 I have a lot of fun with, even if it's technically worse. Nice shot. This game is still alive, yep. This game is very alive. 
on PC at least anyway. I think the uh, I think the failure of 2042 has kind of breathed breathed new life into this game. I think if 2042 had done well, this game would probably have kind of died. But the fact is, um, because it was so bad and like so few people play that game, this game's actually doing pretty well right now as a result because it just hasn't taken Spare. hasn't taken players off of 2042. Just hasn't taken players off of this game. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I shot that guy three times. How did he not die? You think the Farquhar is the worst gun in the game and the 12G is better? What? Are, are you and I using the same Farquhar? Farquhar is like low-key busted. It's very possibly the strongest gun in the entire game. The optical variant. Like, I think it's honestly even stronger than the RSC. You gotta be joking, Gavin. You are joking. You're, you're joking, man. Holy stress. Thank you. There we go. Only took a million attempts to hit that guy. Oh damn, the martini sniper. Nice shot. Dude, I love I love getting high kill games and actually. It's like I got I got loads of kills on that map, like always basically. The only map I do better on is Argon, I think. Oh, oh boy, the frame rate the frame rate drops are here. Ratio 8.32 is good. It was better than that, but I got injured and couldn't play the game for 18 months. And it's kind of been dropping ever since. I'm, st I'm still not really, I'm still not quite where I used to be before my injury. I'm still, I'm still in the process of getting good. Dude, every time I join AMG, I get huge frame rate rips. I don't know why. Just been the past couple days. Headshot and a body shot doesn't kill him.
Dude, I, I've got like Xbox One frame rates right here. I don't understand why this happens every time I join AMG. Is it worth it to aim for the head? Not really. Not unless you're sniping. And even then, like, because of the sweet spots in this game, not always worth aiming for the head. Like, if you'll notice, if you'll notice, I'm never aiming at the head with this gun. I'm always aiming at the, um, at the upper torso. Pretty much, like, dead center mass. Basically, just so I have a higher possibility of hitting, because uh, hitting headshots doesn't really impact your air bullets to kill too much. Headshot noob? No, I'm a headshot god, actually. Rosardo. Ever since I used to Carcano, I am now a headshot god, a certified headshot god. Show us? No, you just have to take my word for it. It's. It's got to be taken on faith. Nah, this, this headshots aren't really important in this game. Unless you're sniping, and even then, not very, depending on... Depending on which rifle you're using. See him until too late. Remember, I'm a sweet spot of user. G guilty as charged. What are my top three pistols? Uh, the Obras. The Obras is my top one pistol. I always use the Obras. I have like 11,000 kills on it. It is the most fun pistol I've ever used in any game. Like, if the Obras were to be removed from this game tomorrow, I doubt I would play it again. The Obras is top one and everything else is, everything else is second. Yeah, exactly. You can beat you can beat shotguns with this pistol, All right? You saw me. Uh, you saw me just one tap that guy previously to, with to the uh, chest. It does a hundred damage in close quarters. Yes, this is a, this is an Obrez appreciation stream. An Sanitator from the gegenseite. That being said, if you're new to the game, you might want to use one of the revolvers instead. Like the auto revolver from Medic is a very good pick. And it's less less dependent on your aim. Like you can have kind of bad aim and still do okay with the auto revolver. I got shot by two different people. Here. I think there's trains for trains arriving. You must fall out, see me that's on. I missed.
take a moment to thank Jesus for saving BF1. No, Dice saved BF1 by making by making 2042 so bad. If they did a competent job on 2042, this game would be dead. As it is, it's, li it's literally more alive than it was before 2042 came out. Like, it's, it's a game that's so bad, it literally flopped and boosted its own prequels. Nice shot. Fair enough. Yeah, right, this game, this game, this six-year-old Battlefield game has more players on PC than 2042, which came out a year ago. BF1's a pretty game. BF1 looks better than 2042, despite being so much older. I don't know how DICE managed it. They clearly knew at some point in the past how to make a good game and then just decided that we're going to forget. It's amazing that the same studio made this game and then and then put out 2042. It's absolutely wild. They learned to market a game pre-launch. Yeah, 2042 marketing was pretty good. I'll give them that. Like the um the trailer for 2042, the uh, reveal trailer, got a ton of people hyped about it. Like if you remember the BF5 reveal trailer, that sucked. That sucked bad. And it made people, like, actively unhyped for the game. Whereas the uh, 2042 reveal trailer, really good. Best part of the game was, like, the video announcing it. I don't know if it was quite as good as uh, the BF1 reveal trailer. I think that's, like... Isn't that, like, the most viewed game trailer of all time? The, uh, the reveal trailer for this game? See you later, Jacker. Thanks for stopping by. Let us use the noob gun. The F5 reveal trailer did play its part for his shit launch, yes. Yeah, the bad reveal trailer plus the buggy beta kind of did a number on BF5 before it even before it ever even launched. Which was a shame. I, I think BF5 got a bit more hate than it really deserved. I don't think it was a terrible game. I think it had issues, but. It was almost dead on arrival. I have no legs. Oh no, my legs died. Oh. How did I how did I take damage jumping off that roof? W. Hey, hey man, we're missing A, S, and D as well. I was not expecting someone to be on that roof. Smart about this. Don't want to. Don't want to run into their tank. Panzeransicht. Und jetzt schon gerade zu. Oh oh no no.
Uh, how? How did that kill me? Did I get mortar? Flash your munition. He's gonna have side gunners, isn't he? These tanks are really annoying. Please. Never mind. Die? No, the tank did not die. Okay, now it's dead. Nice. Munition here. Da vorne ein Sanitäter. Infinite ammo. Infinite ammo. Oh, reserve is on my team. I'll try and join the squad. Hat jemand Munition bestellt? somewhere from a tank I'll just ignore it This is the source I have. There we go. Infinite ammo versus infinite health. What wins? I didn't see that guy. Unfortunate. Wait, that guy's been both of my death so far. Bust on in a nutshell right there. Sniped, respawn, killed by tank. Okay, I needed to join Rosardo. Never mind, squads are full. Let's try not dying instantly this time to a tank. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, this would be this would be a mad revive if he can get me. That's a really good revive. Full credit to that medic. Shooter, whoever that is.
Almost, almost got away with it. Feindlicher Sanitäter, da! Ich hab hier einen Sanitäter! Didn't see that guy. Have you played the game with the specializations like Reaper and Peacock with Afflictions? Uh, no. No, I've never even unlocked them. I don't think. I just, I, I don't care to use them. Like, it just looks really, really boring, like, playing the game, like, deliberately handicapping yourself. I get enough of that when I use for 12G. I don't need to, like, I don't need to add, like, the can't take off gas mask. Or, like, constantly take damage afflictions to that. It just doesn't look fun. Oh, we just hit fired a guy. Like that was good hit fire. Oh damn! Imagine trying. Imagine trying to run around in real life with this gun, like I'm doing now. Oh, we gotta kill the tank hunter. We have to kill the tank hunter. We killed the tank hunter. Literally, dude, even even a, even Giga Chat himself could not do this. This gun weighed like 50 kilos or something. Didn't even have like a stock. Like for the furthest back point of this gun is for trigger. That's like a little handle you can hold on to. Like, you don't even have anything to cushion the recoil. Not that there would be much recoil, given how much the gun weighs. Shit, I'm dead, I'm dead. Also, just hold mouse button one. Anytime you've got multiple enemies to kill with this thing, hold down mouse button one. The overheat is such that you will think it's like, what, 60, 69 rounds or something? Like something absolutely ridiculous. Literally hold down mouse button one and just switch from target to target to target like that. So you don't have to constantly go through the spread reset. You can just maintain minimum spread for the entire... for all the kills. around with this tank if I don't have to. Also, abuse for bipod on this thing. Abuse for bipod. It's free kills. I don't know if he saw me or not. We actually got that guy. Oh, 
Also, shoot my horse head. Shoot my horse head, it does more damage. <laughs> this medic ran away from me. He's back. Thank you, medic. Shoot, dude, not the horse. No, but the horse deserves it. Horses are my natural enemy. Oh, we almost got him. Almost got that guy. Couldn't even see him. Hey, run away, run away. There we go. Yeah, pressure money, John. Infinite suppression. Uh, health, please, sir. Health, please. I guess not. Never lucky. I was in a pretty good spot there too. Use pin down and just suppress snipers. Does pin down even make much of a difference? <laughs> Like, I find I constantly get suppressed anyway by support players. Like, regardless of what perk we're using. Okay, I need to shoot that thing. I need to shoot that thing. He's gonna be right above, isn't he? Let me go here where it's a bit safer. Alright, it's dead. Just shoot the planes with the big bag LMG and you'll be good. single hit marker just, just dealing out suppression. I shot the wrong guy. 
less bullets needed? Dude, I've got 250 bullets. Why do you think I would need less bullets? I'm going to suppress them eventually. Nice shot. Here, munition for this. No, nothing I could do there. Oh, no, they got a big tank now. I can already tell I'm about to die to that constantly. I can sense it. Oh. Okay, huge frame rate drop, huge frame rate drop, huge frame rate drop. I got one of them. Where? I didn't even see that guy. I didn't think he saw me. Oh, come on, come on. Oh my god, it went. It made me swim. I forgot you have to swim in that little spot. I know, I left your arm hurts. Don't do it too much. Literally like 15 minutes a day. That's That's all you need to do. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to just grind it or anything. Fifteen minutes a day, maybe like before a gameplay session, maybe if you want to do extra, then like fifteen minutes after as well. I'm dead. But you don't want to do it for hours on end. Your arm's just gonna get tired. And it's gonna, like, not, not be so useful at that point. I'm lowering the settings to performance and tell me yeah you want to have high frame rate unlike unlike the frame rate that I have right now unlucky I mean, this round was going well, now I'm just dying non-stop. Uh, 
non-stop. The blue orbs look like they were tearing. Then you discovered monitor drivers were a thing. Uh, so that's V-Sync. You want to have V-Sync off. You want to have V-Sync off. V-Sync basically um, doesn't allow your monitor to... Ref or it doesn't like render a new frame until your monitor is ready. And like, because it, it basically monitors like they render down the way like this. So if it like starts rendering a new frame when it's halfway through rendering, it'll look like it's tear. So you get one frame here and then like a second frame down here. V-Sync fixes that, but it also increases lag. So uh, don't use, don't use V-Sync. If you have a free sync monitor, that's, that's fine. You can use that without performance issues, but it's not really necessary. Because like the higher refresh rate your monitor is, the less you're gonna, the less you're gonna notice tearing anyway. So I've never felt like free sync's been like a super useful technology. Oh, that's the big tank. But yeah, it, look look in your settings if you um, for Aimlab and for BF1, and turn off V sync. It's uh, I'll just show you where it is actually, seeing as that. So uh, V sync is there. It's called vertical sync. You want it off? You want it off, and that will substantially reduce your input latency and make the game much easier to play. Can I kill this tank with a limpet? Oh, it's dead, regardless. I mean, I don't know what monitor you have, so I can't really... I can't really speak. I mean, my monitor doesn't have any drivers. Maybe you've got a really nice one. Vertical FOV at fifty? No, you don't. Let's lower. Don't don't light of a don't light of a new players. Fifty is really really low for an FOV. I'll be right back.
Yeah, the blue skin on the LMG 08 is great. I love how that one looks. Uh, I'll use the uh, I'll use the Hewitt. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to challenge those tanks though. How is he not dead? Dude, you're so exposed on this leg. Some like snipers all the way down there. Ninety-two damage. Same guy again. I was unlucky. I didn't even see them. I'm assuming we're dead now, right? No, we're still a guy there. Oh, there is a fortress gun. Trade. Sniper is here. There we go. Number one. Don't know where this guy is. I hear him. He's left. There we go. Oh. Got a dodge, dodge that fortress gun though. Those fortress guns really ruined this map. It would be like 50% better if those things just got deleted. An ADP screen you found for 50 bucks. I mean, if it, answer me this: Is the um, the tearing is it at the same spot on your screen constantly, like every single frame? it could potentially be a monitor defect. Let's try to find the enemies right now. usually above the center half so it's not always there and it's like kind of moves around a bit because if so then that's that screen tearing 
and that just happens when your um when your frame rate doesn't match your monitor refresh rate. Yeah. Only in games, yeah. That's you're you're, you're described as green tearing. Versus, that's just kind of a thing that happens on on 60 hertz monitors, on any monitor really, but especially 60 hertz monitors because of a low refresh rate. Um, the solution to that is to turn on VSync, but you don't want to do that because it increases your latency. So I uh, just I recommend just keeping VSync off and just just living with the tearing. <laughs> On the <a> man, <laughs> buy a better screen. Um, yeah, if you have a higher refresh rate monitor, it'll be less noticeable. <laughs> Like, I have a 144Hz monitor, and I have V-Sync off, and I never notice any tearing in any games. Ah! Oh, there's a headshot for you. The gamer screen, yeah, you want... High, high refresh rate monitors are really, really nice. This guy's blocking me. Teammate blocked me. So I'd recommend, I recommend picking one up if you're going to be playing a lot of shooters. I mean, even if you're not, I think if, I think a high refresh rate monitor is very nice. Like even just like navigating my mouse around the desktop, there's a noticeable difference between um, 60 hertz and 144 hertz. I would say the two biggest improvements that I ever bought for my uh, PC was an SSD and a high refresh rate monitor. In terms of like the um, how, how much better it made things feel, SSD for reducing the load times, and the monitor for just everything feeling so much snappier. Ninety-nine damage. Jump, please, jump. There we go. Like I said, it's 5 milliseconds response, 60 hertz. Yeah, so that's like basically just a very standard 60 hertz monitor, nothing, nothing special about it. Unbelievable. picked up a second one millisecond monitor I, I feel like response time isn't that important i don't feel it gets it's get it gets marked a lot like I, I as i understand there's not a huge difference between like five millisecond and one millisecond what you're mainly looking for is refresh rate so it's like 144 hertz or something instead of instead of 60. Hertz, yeah, Hertz is. I mean, there's, there's monitor review sites out there that can tell you far, far more than I can. Um, so take a look at those when you're buying a new monitor. They will give you a ton of really good recommendations. All right, we got him. Oh, he's dead anyway. Find the enemy simulator right now. There's the enemy. No. Oh, I saw someone. Maybe it was a teammate. There's the enemy. <laughs> Oh, I got outplayed so bad.
no, no, uh, frequency is refresh rate is way better than is a way bigger issue, um, a way bigger benefit than response time. Now I don't get bayoneted at the worst possible times. Spend like five minutes trying to find an enemy and then instantly, instantly bayoneted. I need health. I didn't see that guy. There we go. Five ball on this thing is insane. I'm dead, I'm dead. Nope, still alive. I'm dead. Yeah, I wasn't expecting dynamite. I don't think there was any reason for me to play around dynamite there. Oh, medico tiro. I'm getting shot from. Take the trade. I'll take the trade every day, Vert. Oh my god, my frame rate's gone. My frame rate's gone back down to like five. I don't know what it is about AMG. I mean, it's really, really weird that one server can somehow impact my frame rate. I, I don't understand it. Uninstall it. You uninstalled the game a year ago. And now you're downloading it again. Oh, well, be nice to be nice to see more people on the game as always. Um, don't know what that guy died to. I think it was the fortress gun. Yeah, maneuver is correct about response rate there. Um, exactly, it's just like how quickly a single pixel can change from a pure, was it pure black to pure white? Uh, I think is how I measure it.
which uh, isn't super important. Like, it's nice to have it be faster, but um, it's just one factor in, in the... as far as input lag goes. And uh, res refresh rate is a much bigger factor. Okay. I think I was a plane, right? You got your dad 75 hertz, but it was 27 inch. I mean, it depends what your dad's doing. If your dad's not gaming, he doesn't really need the, um, the refresh rate. Like, for example, if he's like, if he's like, if he's like a video editor or something, then having like, having a, a good color reproduction is much more important. And just a, a large monitor in general. Mm. Where am I supposed to go here? Three D CAD and email. Okay, in that case, he does not need a. Uh, he does not need a fast high refresh rate monitor. I assume for like CAD, yeah, he would he would need like a larger monitor so he can see what he's doing more clearly. But yeah, refresh rate would be the last thing that he would he would really he would really be looking for when when getting a monitor. You just have tanks camping on the side of a hill. There's nothing much, much I can do. I would like to get down to F, but I don't think that would be doable. Oh. There's a medic where's his kit. A scout. And I can fire a flare, I guess. Here, he's dead. Oh, God, run away. Yeah, I'm going to need to start looking at monitors for when I upgrade my PC. I feel like there's not put much point in upgrading and then sticking to uh, 1080p. I'd probably go for like a 1440p monitor. Rocket truck. Maybe OLED? Uh, that might be about my price range. How much do OLED monitors cost these days? For like a 1440p high refresh rate monitor. I didn't see that guy. Also, we lost A and B.
And then we're going to be spawning out. Never mind. Usual 42 inch 4K at OLED monitor. People use like 1K. That's that. That's that's, that's more expensive. I will need a cheaper monitor than that. What I was looking at was a gigabyte monitor. I can't. I can't remember the name of it. It was like a 1440p, 240 hertz, 27 inches. It looked pretty good. I've broken your controller at this point, dude. This is this game is the ultimate, the ultimate way to become super zen. You just you have to you have to let all the nonsense and bullshit just wash off you. Don't let it make you mad. Hey Shadow, how's it going? Please, thank you. That's a limpet, that's a limpet. Also, has it been foggy all round, or is it just me imagining it? Fourteen forty p one twenty hertz one one twenty hertz. I was looking at fourteen forty p two forty hertz. Although that might be a bit overkill. It's for follow Agera. Agera. Something like that. Yeah, it would definitely be a big upgrade over my current monitor. I want for resolution uh, because. I upload I upload clips to TikTok, which I uh, crop down from a uh, 1920 by 1080 down to 1080 by 1920, which means I kind of lose a bit of resolution. And if I were playing on 1440p, I would lose less, so my clips would look nicer. That would be the main draw for me to uh, 1440p. All right, maybe maybe next map is a is a better one. Why would you not get TN panels? Bear in mind, I haven't I haven't super kept up with monitors for the past like five or six years, so. I'm not entirely sure what the drawbacks of it are. There we go. That was a decent, a decent couple kills. Oh, Hatchy, please. An actual balanced Hatchy round would be nice. TN panels have abysmal viewing angles and color reproduction. They excel in response time. I mean, viewing angle doesn't really matter for me. 
because like, I'm the only one looking at this monitor and it's right in front of me. And it's not like I'm moving my head around like this or anything when I play. Uh, color reproduction is an issue. Like I, I, I would like a monitor with good color reproduction. If possible. Although it's not a, it's not a disaster if it doesn't have it. Can't find enemies this round. I couldn't either. They could find me though. I don't know what gun to use. I feel like LMGs have been working out for me though. I'll just I'll use the Lewis gun. I don't really want to use a semi auto. sometime yeah you're welcome to join me anytime you want are you guys are you guys on now oh. no yeah i thought i thought it might be a bit late but i'm on this game every day so you're welcome to join anytime <laughs> I need help. You notice it's a fun game, I like it. The last battlefield I really enjoy. Okay, nice shot, fair enough. Uh, no, I don't. Lems, I, Lems, I haven't seen in years. I think I, I think I played Lem with Lems uh, the last time he played this game. I think he's store manager now. I mean, that doesn't mean he can't play BF1, right? Okay. Fair enough. I know I know he stopped streaming a while back, like a couple of years ago. Back in like twenty nineteen actually. And hasn't really haven't really seen him too much since then. ADS on this thing is so slow. Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> he was a tech guy before he works on weekends. He didn't... <laughs> He didn't like when I kept calling him a tech guy. <laughs> Think he preferred like IT consultant or something. <laughs> health please, health please, Rosardo. <laughs> I 
Oh, I can't find a kit. <laughs> Saw that coming. I want a half naked girl opens the door when you when he's there to fix the internet, dude. Like I gotta become an IT guy. Sounds like a fun job. Okay, the server's dead. Another dead server. Is for anything up? Hmm. I don't really want to play on any of these. Actually, I can play. I can do infantry perdition. Seeing as it's on Amion. If it was a if it was on a bad map, I wouldn't have joined the server. Uh, what have I just joined? What have I just joined? Oh well, I'm gonna need the LMG. Wait for this. Gonna need the OP guns. Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to play with his balance. I've done enough. I've done enough bad balance games tonight. Uh, I'll probably call it a night here. See, this game's been testing my patience all day. I don't want to do any more. I'll be on. I will be on again tomorrow. It's it's either bad maps or or bad balance or whatever just dies as soon as I join. It's been one of those three every single, every single server so far tonight. Let's raid. Let's raid Larry. I think he's just starting his stream. Oh no, he's been on for like three and a half hours. We'll raid him anyway. One of the unlucky days. Yeah, really bad luck today. Really, really bad luck today. Let's let us pray. Let us pray for better luck tomorrow. That's all I can hope for. I did have a couple of good rounds today, to be fair. Yeah, pray to Odin. Anyway, thank you everyone for stopping by, and thank you everyone who followed. Greatly appreciated, as always. I will be on again tomorrow doing some more doing some more BF1, where hopefully we actually get some good luck. It's a possibility, I know. A rare possibility. Until then, take care everyone, and have a good night.